What's up guys? So I wanna kick off this Q&A with this highlight lift. This is 455 double overhand. This is a legit PR. You can see my reaction there. Um, even when I was deadlifting 700 pounds, uh, I think 435 was my best double overhand and it was sketchy, soft lockout. Um, absolutely mugged that 455 uh, out of nowhere. Um, and again, uh, just look at my reaction, uh, caught me off guard. So uh, anyway, let's get to it. I'm cutting right now and it fe training feels weird, coming off a pretty big bulk. I find that small aches and pains creep up and training a lot more faster. I'm in a pretty big deficit, losing weight relatively fast. Seven and a half kilos in one and a half months. That is pretty fast. Uh, a lot of that's water though, initially. Uh, so far, my strength and performance has not dropped much yet because water. Uh, but I've noticed uh, my recovery to be worse and thereby kind of forced a lower volume of it. No, what's your advice? Um, you know, your recovery is going to be worse. Calories, especially for, for us natties, uh, calories is, is our everything. It's our recovery. It's our anabolic um so yeah it's it's not not surprising to me um my general advice for somebody who's cutting weight um if, if they're you know an intermediate or beyond is to find some novel stimulus it does you don't have to cut out compound lifts per se but whatever compounds have been the meat and potatoes of your uh your training, uh, maybe it's time to try some tofu and rice. Uh, so if, if, if you've been, for example, just, you know, you said you're not a power lifter, but if, if for example, you've been squat bitch deadlift, okay, well maybe let, let's try some front squats or some lunges. Um, maybe let's do some incline or some seated overhead press, uh, instead of deadlift, let's do some RDLs or some deficits or some block pulls, etc. Uh, <laughs> I don't necessarily think you need to lower volume. Um, obviously, if you're doing so much that it's causing aches and pains, then yes, you need to lower your volume. Uh, but I, I trained pretty high volume in the duration of my cut. Uh, you kind of got to listen to your body. Um, initially, like given what you're saying with aches and pains, I would try to switch movements and I would ease back on volume right now. Uh, and then you, you got to find your threshold. So if you, you, you reduce volume by say 30% and you change movements and everything's fine. Oh, uh, well then you, you can up that percentage of volume a little bit. Um, and, and, and until you find that threshold where, Oh, I'm kind of teetering on the edge. Let's pull back a little bit and kind of find your sweet spot there. It's going to be a little bit different for everybody. Uh, but my general guideline is to, uh, find some novel stimulus and do something different with your training while you're cutting. Uh, sh should I accept my bloat Lord destiny? I've been blindly bulking for maybe six years, powerlifting background, now power building. What the fuck? Uh, I'd be 400 pounds if I ate as much as my brain told me. I can relate to that. Respectable strength, six two two fifty or six foot two fifty. Man, it, it's, uh... You've got extra replies here. Um, I get compliments like you're huge, bro, but I want it to be your shred for the senoritas. Uh, man, honestly, with women, everybody has their types, of course. Uh, but, you know, I got just as much play, big or little, um, says the married man. <laughs> My wife preferred, preferred me big. Uh do do what do what you want to do, man. Fuck if if your goals are to be shredded, then by all means, absolutely get shredded. That's your goal. You know, you kind of choose your own destiny there. I get the bloat lord feels a hundred percent, man. I am perpetually hungry. Um, but yeah, do you, bro? Like absolutely, shred down if you want to shred down. You'll still be able to maintain more strength than you think you will. Um, you'll be you'll be fine. Uncle Freak says so. You said you liked initial D because you like cars. My question is, what's your favorite car or else? As far as favorite cars, man, I don't have a favorite car. Um, I like all cars of all sorts. You know, muscle, JDM, lowriders, exotics. I like regular ass traffic. Um, but I guess for the sake of this video, my favorite movie car is Eleanor from uh, the modern remake of Gone in 60 Seconds. So, uh, 67 Shelby GT 500 and, you know, the, the body kit and the way they had her painted up and everything. So, uh, Eleanor's my favorite, like TV famous car, I guess. We'll go with that. Why do you use cross arms when front squatting? Uh, poor shoulder mobility. Um, 
I was benching 500 pounds before I did my first front squat ever. So, uh, my, my shoulder mobility has never been there for a front rack position. Can you use powerlifting program for street lifting? If you mean like apply progressive overload principles of powerlifting with street lifting type lifts, um, I don't see why you couldn't, but I'm certainly not an expert in that area there. So, uh, if I'm not sure if you've answered this before, but if you didn't have any family slash obligations, would you have taken steroids? That is a juicy question, pun intended. Um, gosh, I, I commented this might get its own video. Let me, uh, I think I will give that its own video. Let me come back to that. What brand of squat plug do I use? I use the generic ones, but the biggest size. Opinion on hack deadlifts for leg drive. Uh, I can't really give an opinion because I've never done hack deadlifts. So, sorry about that. Question for managing, avoiding aches and pains during injury, during progression. Uh, stagnate some of my favorite lifts. I'm trying to read this fast. Been lifting about three years, bodybuilding, but I'm enjoying absolute strength. Da, da, da. When it comes to progressing big compound lifts, I find progressing well in strength, but I end up running into joint pains unannounced. You basically get strong too fast, is what I'm getting, and we all hate you for that. Um, I would do something like step loading, uh, where you're taking like a given weight and you're using that weight for the entire block. Um, so maybe you take something like a 315 bench press and you're benching it that same weight and you can do the same progression. Like you're just going to do say a five by five for four weeks with that 315 and come the end of that block, you know, you just absolutely dominate that 315 five by five. And then the next block, you dominated it so much that you're not going to jump like 5 or 10 pounds. You're going to jump like 25 pounds or 30 pounds. And then you're doing, you know, 355 or 360 for a 5x5. Five five. And same thing. Maybe the first week is, is you know, still manageable but kind of tough. But as you get to week four with that same weight, you're just absolutely dominating it again. Um, then, you know, you make a jump. And, and that gives you time for those tendons and everything to catch up with you. Uh, you know, you've got to find your, your variations that work. Uh, some people, you know, benching just hurts and it's always going to hurt for them, uh, for whatever reason, be it past injuries or whatnot. Uh, so maybe you have to find like a workaround, like a decline bench or an incline bench or a seated overhead or something like that. Um, but I would definitely look at something like step loading, uh, to artificially slow down, uh, your progressions on a week to week basis. Um, but in the long run, it's going to allow you to, to make bigger progressions anyway. What does freaky D stand for? So my name is Dennis. Um, and to paint a picture back in seventh grade, uh, if you go back and listen to rap music at the time uh, and the culture in general, uh, eating pussy was kind of frowned upon and not desired for a dude to do. Uh, I simply announced within my circle of friends that I would gladly eat pussy and everybody thought I was a freak because of it. Um, even the girls thought I was nasty for saying that. Funny how, uh, time changes opinions on these things, uh, and what's, uh, culturally relevant, acceptable and not, but that's why Freaky D has nothing to do with lifting weights. Peace!